on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Hey, hey, leave the birds alone. Hey, Melly, Lucy, hey, leave them alone. Oh, God, oh. they're flying. Oh, God, rip. Oh, God, they all get, oh, God, oh, God, rip. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Hey, leave them alone. Hey, oh, there we go. Hey, quit harassing them. You better go, Nugget. They're gonna get you. Oh, my God. Since when did my dogs attack all my animals? Shoo. Oh, God, oh, God. Flush them up. Come on, Lucy. Go get it. Oh, God, Melly, hey. Melly, not Marty. Hey, hey, no, hey, Melly, hey, be nice to Marty. No, no, bad dog. No, hey, hey, be nice to Marty. Hey, Melly, what did Marty do to you? Hey, no, hey, since when is she such a hot dog? I don't know. She's out for blood. Marty, Marty I'm sorry. Oh, Melly, hey, Melly, no, 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 no. Quit harassing my chickens. Woo! They made it. Oh my God. Hey, how's it going, folks? Oh, Marty. Marty Ooh. Been on the Ooh, you see the dangle. Yeah. Ooh, Jerry. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Jerry. Barely hanging on. Ooh. Anyways, how's it going, folks? Welcome back. Uh, sorry, my dogs are freaking nuts. I was supposed to start this video doc. back. Oh, English is tough. I was planning on starting the video back by the pig, so we're gonna go back there before my dogs decided to try to kill all my chickens. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? We'll be back in a minute. Just calm down. Hey, Millie. No, quit harassing the quail. Lucy, Lucy, quit. Hey, quit harassing the quail. No, hey, quit it. Oh my it god. Smells. They do, they do smell. stink. They, it's the Damn. quail. The quail stink. We need to get rid of those. All right, we need to let them things loose or something. Anyways, so the pigs. Oh, goodness gracious. This is just not how I expected to start my day. I figure this day is going a little bit better than mine. But we got to feed these pigs. Today's a big day, though. We're starting a new project. Uh, well, I mean, the project's pretty much starting tomorrow, but we got to do a little prep work. And it is on this. This pond right here is, uh, well, not looking too good. It, it was crazy is how much it's filled up. If you guys remember, we drained it, completely drained it. And now there's a ton of water, which needs to be pumped out. We are redoing this entire thing. We spent thousands of dollars, lots of time, trying to get this thing to work and it never worked. So we ended up basically draining it. Oh God, there she goes, Rip. Oh, see you later. Oh, she's got it. Oh, Heck she yeah. can swim. That's good. good. Oh, you got it. Yep. Good job. There you go. This will be a little training pond. What but Millie doesn't, I mean, I don't think she really swims that much. But we are going to be redoing the pond. We've got Greg, the pond guy. He's coming out. And him and his whole crew. You guys will see them a little bit later tomorrow. But what we need to do is get this site prepped, ready to rock and roll. We got to get it all mowed, cleaned up, drained, tarp out. We got to get all these bricks, these pavers stacked up and moved out. Is that thunder? All right, we'll be all right. Anyways, this thing needs to be a dirt hole when we are done with it today. And then tomorrow when everybody comes, they're gonna start working and they're gonna try to get done in one day. Uh, a little sneak peek. We're gonna try to get a, basically a fountain there or like a waterfall, not a fountain, a waterfall. It's gonna be crystal clear. We're gonna have lights, maybe cameras. Uh, you'll just have to kind of wait and see how that goes. But anyways, getting the we got, started for you got, oh, you're on waterfall. Yeah. You're on waterfall. Yeah, oh God. It. You're on waterfall <laughs> duty. How can, he's saying waterfall. No, you got it. Ba keep going banjo whip it out banjo now you got it come on no come on come on you guys is he nervous i think you get stage fright. oh look banjo's on waterfall duty Alrighty, that's good get her prepped and primed i'm sure the guys who are gonna keep working on this are gonna be really happy to go walk in there later but um hey big boy what are you guys doing why are you so large oh my god hey why are you big boy you're supposed to be baking by now we just can't find a butcher so for now they live another day anyways let's get these little guys fed there you go buddy well, pigs are fed, taken care of. Let's go hang out with the big animals, make sure they're all alive and well. Jerry! <laughs> How the, ooh, look like old raisin. Gross. You take the plumpest grape you've ever seen, turn it into a raisin, and that's Jerry's nuts. Jerry, I'm sorry, pal. That cannot be fun, I, I'm sure, but we'll get you some food, Jerry. I'll make you feel better. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, back over here. There you go. Come on, you got it. There you go. Yeah, Jerry. Where's Jerry at? Oh, it's hey, get away from Jerry's nuts. Oh, it's good. Oh, it is. It's barely on by a thread, bro. Yeah. We're days out from you a catch and cook. It. Wait, what? Llama, what, what's up with all the, what's that strap? Llama, are those flies on her? E Uh-oh. That ain't good. What's up with all those ball spots on her? Okay. She must be scratching herself and then cutting it. Yeah. And then the flies are getting on it. How much is left in there? Much or no? All right, I'll try to get her. Let me get her with grain and yeah. then see if we can get, get it a little. Deep, not in his face. That ain't good. We might need to call the vex. That's not. I've never seen flies on it before. I've seen like the little marks. Yeah. I figured she's just rubbing up against stuff. There's a lot of flies on her. That's not good. Here you go, llama. <laughs> no, Dale. Dale. We got to treat llama. Hey, I'm not a doctor, but I'll take a look. Come here, llama. Rick. No. Rick. No. Yeah, she don't like that. 
We gotta get some more fly spray. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't good there, guy. Rip. I'm sorry, llama. I mean, Steve's got flies and he don't have any cuts, so yeah, Carol's got a few. All right, well, we're out of fly spray, so we need to go get that. Do you guys know why llama has all these cuts and marks and there's flies everywhere? That's crazy. Like, I assume it's just from her rubbing around, which it probably is, because Steve doesn't have the marks, but he still has flies on them. Up until today, I never seen them with a bunch of flies. Anyways, well, we'll, we'll call the vet and get them taken care of, but let's go give Karen and Boots some grain. Hey, Karen, how you doing? Oh, but I better go get you some more. That's not going to last very long. There you go, Boots. I got some more for you, buddy. Hey, ducks, here you go. Hey, okay. Get yourself some. There you go. Bony apple feet, everybody. At least they're... Oh, God. Oh, Millie, he's got another chicken. Rip. Jimothy, what are you doing, pal? Well, Millie was chasing Hennifer. Hey, not cool. Hennifer's an OG. You can't be doing that. But she didn't She didn't kill her. She just likes to chase. It's not... She ain't trying to eat. She's just, she's just trying to chase him, but... Jimothy, everybody misses you, pal. You want some grain? You got plenty of grain there, buddy. Come say hello. Everybody misses you, guy. You wanna go fishing again? We could probably break your PB if we got your bass. Right now, you're up to about a six inch bluegill. You wanna go fish today or what? Well, Jimothy's hiding. Mainly because we got thing one and thing two here. Harassing Jimothy from both ends. Um, how's that water going? Oh, Lucy, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rip! <laughs> That's all right, Lucy loves water, don't you, pal? She's like, what the hell? I'm not going by Jimothy's cage ever again. Watch out, boots! <laughs> Someone didn't install this. It's because right? I didn't put the doohickey hangers. I mean, you're, you're using it for the food. Yeah, see, it's, I'm doing it. Yeah, well, as soon as uh. Hey, oh, hey, Jimothy's out. Hey, he's, she's trying to poop. That's her pooping corner. Hey, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> Jimothy, you might want to move. Lucy is trying to bite your ass. I watched it. Lucy, kinky girl. You, why? Hey, look at Jimothy's honestly kind of fearless though. Like, look, Jimothy knows that they can't get her. Lucy, Lucy wants nothing more. It's good though. We haven't even worked with Lucy really much on any hunting. It's just natural born instinct. We take her rabbit hunting, squirrel hunting. She likes the quail already, which is good. So it's hard to like yell at them for chasing chickens because you know, that's what I want Lucy to do. Not chase chickens, but chase wildlife, animals, birds. So I don't really want to like get in the habit of yelling at her all the time. As long as she's not trying to kill one of our animals, I try to let it go because I don't want to discourage her from being a hunting dog, if that makes sense. Anyways, we better get started on this pond. We got a lot of work to do. You guys stay tuned. Give her hell, Banjo. Sounds like water's going. Oh yeah, she's pumping. Well, we're gonna let her eat that, if you can see right here. Squiggles all the way down, that way none of this gets wet and muddy and stuff. We've kinda learned our lesson, get this little pipe. Millie's helping the irrigation problem we got going on right now, Pan. We need to, well we got one piece already down here and then I gotta go bring the other one with a skid loader. We're getting a whole truckload of rock tomorrow as well. But this is part of the waterfall, I believe, pretty positive. So we've got that check. We need to run up there. I've got a big pallet full of all sorts of stuff for the pond as well. We gotta bring down here, like I said, we gotta clean this all up. I wanna mow it all, I wanna make a nice area for the boys that are coming in town, there's like eight of them, to work. I want them to be able to kind of see what's going on, machinery in and out. We are gonna be a big part of it though. We're gonna be using my skid loader, my excavator. Um, we're gonna be doing it, not ourselves, we're going to be doing it along with the experts using the equipment that I have, which is nice because that's why I bought it. I bought it to, you know, be able to use for projects like this. But you guys saw round one not go that great. I mean, I found out these rocks that I found and used promote algae growth, which is one big problem that we had. You said they were um, what, limestone, that was the reason? Yeah, I, yeah. something. He basically, something like we had one of the individuals that he's, you guys are seeing him tomorrow. His name's Ed. He's going to come out, but he came out earlier to kind of scout this. And he's like, yeah, you're using the wrong kind of rock. So, I mean, again, stuff that I don't know, being a, being a complete amateur. Um, and we are going to hopefully walk you guys through how to properly and correctly do it, but still do it on a manageable budget. Like, it's going to be nice. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be a lot more expensive than this, but it's going to be on a little bit more of a manageable level. It's not going to be this huge extravagant thing with all these, you know, crazy lights and stuff. At least I don't think. Um, but the plan is to make it functional, especially for this dog to swim in because she, she likes swimming and chasing these little hyacinths around and doing Lucy things. And maybe we'll use it as like a little training pond. Probably not. Way too nice for that. Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead, get the skid loader fired up and clear out this area, get it all cleaned up and ready to rock and roll. You guys stay tuned. We got the old lawnmower down here. We got the old skid loader down here. It's time to get this pond cleaned up. The water is still coming out of it, it looks like. So we're getting, I mean, it actually went down quite a bit, surprisingly, a lot more than I expected. So we've got a, Rick, what are you doing, Rick? We got to figure out what do you think the best way of attack the pavers, just stack them in your bucket. Just stack them in the bucket and, and go, we can put them over by the just go dump them somewhere. What All is, right. What is 
this stuff? Yeah, I don't know. Mold, probably. Oh, it's off the highest. Whatever. Yeah, probably. Lucy, Millie, that's probably not good water for you to be drinking there, pal. Oh, we got to get this place cleaned up. how crisp and clean this is if you guys saw the episodes where we built this is you guys you know it's familiar but got a lot of grass down there good thing or bad thing i don't know can't really do anything about it now but we mowed all this down lucy your pond your swimming pool's gone buddy where are you gonna swim oh wait that's right we have a whole freaking pond i don't know why you choose to swim in this all the freaking time you can go to the pond wherever you want and go swim off the dock got it all mowed down cleared out a nice path and then we that so that's the uh that's the waterfall we're gonna go grab some of the other stuff it's supposed to rain so i might bring that down in the morning uh just so it's not sitting out here in, in the rain but soon it is gonna go from this to something spectacular so see you guys tomorrow all right well good morning everybody thanks for coming out we are going to be redoing this pond over here today so what we're trying to do is we want to come in we want to fill this in a little bit so it's a little bit deep for this size of a pond so normally when we're doing a pond that's this deep it'll probably be three to four times this size so what we want to do is kind of bring up the elevation a little bit <laughs> we want to turn it into a little bit more of a water garden where we could have aquatic plants we could have fish we could have a nice little waterfall building up into this uh, hillside and everything so we're going to try to transform this a little bit for for andrew and his team out here where he could turn this into kind of an educational piece for all of his viewers which is going to be a really cool opportunity for us so what we want to do right away we got our pond kit that just actually arrived it arrived i think yesterday right mm -hmm. so we got the pond kit and all that supplies the rock should be here by 10 a.m so we want to try to get this thing kind of all shaped out so once the rock starts getting here we can start putting all that stuff together inside work our way up and out but i want to get that uh, excavator going as well to bring up that elevation a little bit so the current footprint i think is what like 12 by 12 or something like, like that. that yeah yeah so we'll probably bring it up just a little bit i have enough liner where we can kind of play around with some of the uh some of the edging and things like that so we could actually maybe even kind of dig out some stuff around this corner there is power coming from that direction so i'm thinking we'll probably put our skimmer system over in the one corner and then we'll just take our piping and we want to build up and get a little bit of a waterfall in this corner over here again it's a huge hillside so we don't have enough pumping power or anything like that to pump all the way water to the top plus we don't have the time to do that right now so what we'll do is we'll bring in a little bit more soil we'll kind of build up a little bit of a berm area in there we'll have a nice little waterfall kind of facing i'm guessing you know kind of right out in this direction someplace so we'll probably tuck it right back in here so it's kind of facing uh, all the different animals and everything and i know there's lots of activity that's always happening in and around this place so i think this should be a perfect opportunity and a, and a really neat little setting and i guarantee once we finish all this up there's going to be some other stuff that's going to start happening around here little patio seating area something like that where you could kind of utilize it a little bit more it's going to look better can't look worse <laughs> so honestly Honestly, I'm down for whatever because I know it's not gonna look worse. <laughs> so we have the team of from Just Add Water. So their entire team came out. Originally, uh, Chris and I started talking about uh, maybe just having a handful come out, and he said everybody's gonna come. And I think Chris is coming out later today. So we got the Crack A team. We got beautiful weather. Perfect. Everything is gonna be falling into place. We got our products are here. Rocks on the way. Now we just need to get a little bit of dirt. All right, let's kick it off, guys. Well, folks, it is the next day. This is what we're dealing. With. Look at we got a whole crew of individuals here that are ready to change the game here for the pond i mean it's this is about to get interesting so we've already sketched this out i know we're kind of getting late start of the day we've been busy trying to plan everything the boys need to get started i'm gonna be on dirt du duty so i have to bring in some dirt to they said it's too deep which no surprise here so we need to fill this in a little bit and then they've kind of sketched out this and then we're thinking waterfall of some kind back here so we're going to bring some dirt in for that as well but we got the pond guy he's here where are you from 
Chicago, baby. Chicago. You and Peric and John are yeah. from Chicago. Yeah, he's actually, uh, uh, Alex has been out to Aqualand. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So if you guys have seen Peric's video at Aqualand, that's you. Yes, and so you're here, out. you're here to document it. So you're going to make a YouTube video as well out I'm of this whole make, thing. I'm going to make a video for Ed the Pond Professor, yep. which is one channel, yep. Team Aquascape, which is the construction channel, and Kay. then the Pond Guy, which is the lifestyle channel. Three channels. We're yep. slacking, boys. We better, we better get on it. We, right now we're ripping on one. We need to get up to three. So I will link all their channels down below if you guys want to go check it out. I don't know who's going to post the video first. Probably you guys. What's your turnaround time on videos? We're going to have this going by next Saturday. Yep. You'll be out before me. Uh, so if you guys want to see this, their perspective and everything, uh, they'll probably get a little bit more detail oriented because they're the professionals. I will link down below if you guys want to go check it out. But this is essentially the plan. We're getting some time lapses set up and situated around this area and we are going to get to work. I mean, this is going to be an all day project. You said at 10 o'clock the rocks are coming. So we've got like two hours to get basically the form built. Everything kind of packed in the edges, everything else done. Rock's going to show up, lay the rock. I mean, I don't know the process. We tried to build a pond. How'd that go? Not good. Look, this is how it went actually. Basically what I told these guys, I'm like, I don't care what we do because I know it's going to turn out better than this because, you know, we winged it clearly. So with that being said, I gotta go run, start grabbing some dirt. You guys stay tuned. Here, boys, that's good. Wow, as we got rocks, we're good. Well, folks, as you can see, we got rock big old pile, and uh, now these basically need to go over here. So, quick update. Woo. There you go, you're good. This is uh, this is what we're looking like now. It's looking a, a little better than the previous pond. I don't know, the other pond was pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This looks good, boys. This is good. So, as you can see, that's where the, the fountain's gonna be, and then there's the skimmer over there, and then there's still kind of carving all this out, but we got rocks. So rocks are here, pretty much need to finish the dirt work and kind of packing everything in, tapping it in. Then obviously throw the liners in it, which again, this is all stuff we've done before. They're just doing it with a little bit more precision. We did everything that they're doing, just, you know, they're using the right kind of rocks. We use the wrong kind of rocks. They're using pond liners. We use pond liners. I mean, again, it's not really super different from what we did. Again, they're just doing it in a more precise way, precise precision way where it's gonna turn out good. It's gonna stay clean, stay clear, it's gonna look good. And uh, I'm excited. So we got the rocks and uh, last thing we need to do for this episode is we got one tree already. We didn't film any of this. This is this had some barbed wire growing through it, like which is crazy, like, right here. So this thing is probably, I mean, it's gotta be pretty old, but uh, we're gonna try to go get some more natural features that are already existing on the property to integrate into this. So we're gonna go try to cut down a couple trees or maybe there's one that's laying down, whatever it might be. The boys, they've got an idea. They've got an idea of how to kind of create the aesthetic in a sense for the pond so we're gonna go try to do that and hopefully we can find what we're looking for the rocks are uh they're they're rocks there's a lot of them a lot more than i expected definitely a lot more than i expected we don't want to be we don't want to be short you don't want to be short that's that's right yeah oh yeah true true we're already we're already talking about another pond beyond this one but we're not i'm not gonna say anymore beyond that anyways that makes sense let's go cut down a tree shoo all right folks well we made it to our first potential oh nope totally soft Really? Rip. 
Jesse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't it. That ain't it. All right. Never mind, I take that back. We're, we're gonna keep looking. We're looking for more, more of a less rotten tree, essentially. Cause you said- It goes it, in the water. So we want water good. flowing. If we can, we want water flowing over it. Over the log. Yeah. So you can't have something that's completely rotted yet. Yeah. Timber! There go. The beefcake saw. <laughs> it, hey, it, it worked! It worked! <laughs> all right. Not bad at all. Which way do we want to go? Oh my. Oh I, my go, I just need to go change my shorts. You got a ghillie suit. Look at this. Uh, I think I could even close it actually. Yeah. Oh yeah. Boom! Well, I need to go change oh my, my pants. Gosh. I mean, you walked the wrong way. Like, I got like one. Yeah, I gotta go change. I gotta get naked just here. Throw those away. Uh, yeah, these things are just going in the garbage. Uh, got a tree though, folks. So stay tuned to episode number two. This is the wrap up episode of number one. Next step is going to be the liner, the rock. I mean, everything. It's gonna be full. Episode two coming up. It's gonna be full, finished, ready to go. Episode three, we're gonna try stocking the son of a gun. So we got the tree. I need to change my pants. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Catch you in the next episode. Peace.